Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. We ought to give praise to our God. He is good. He is awesome. He is great. He is God. There is none like him. He is absolutely a marvelous God. He deserves our praise, our worship. For who he is, he deserves our worship. For what he does, he deserves our thanks. For how, what he will do, he deserves our trust in him. Heavenly Father, we worship you this morning. We make great your name. From the rising of the sun to the going down of it, we magnify you. We bless your name. We thank you for another quarter we've entered. Thank you for the things you did in the previous one. We bless your name. Bless us this morning. Let your name be glorified. Let the heavens open upon us. Favor, favor, favor be on Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I'd like to welcome everyone this morning. Trust in the Lord wherever you are that you will be blessed and your life will never be the same. Your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We celebrate everyone who's on the platform this morning. We thank God for you. Bless God for you. Uh, I don't know if it's my program that is dropping. <laughs> it's uh, the internet again. Trust the Lord that this morning you will be blessed. Nothing will stop the hand of the Lord from talking live and in live in the name of Jesus. This morning we continue on decreeing, but before we do that, we'll have one who's on the platform. Nothing discourage you from staying on the platform. And decree the decree on so hand of God in your life. Welcome everyone. Let us know where you are joining from in the name of Jesus. All right. This prayer for Ryan Bent. Ray, Ryan Bent. I see. Prayed for this person before to speak he and helped. I have details, but we believe God for victory, for testimony for that person in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Munchen in Germany. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Uh, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. The Lord bless you richly. May you be highly favored. Warwickshire, blessings on you in the name of Jesus. Finsbury Park, God bless you richly. Bromley, Lucian, be blessed, be highly favored today. KICC, uh, Northwood, Middlesex, God bless you richly. I think, uh, okay, I'm trying to remember the name of the pastor there. Dakar in... Uh, Bangladesh, God bless you this morning. Mende, Mende, Nigeria, God bless you richly. We are Scott from Eastland. Bless you today in the name of Jesus. Nayado Shaya Waksha, that's the Nile favorite. Thank you richly. Abo, Delta, Nigeria, God bless you richly today. Oh, we praise the Lord for everyone on the platform. Sacramento, California, blessings. Clapton, London, the Lord bless you. Croydon, God bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Stanwell Stains, be blessed, be favored. St. Paul's Bristol, be blessed, be favored. Ayedo Kosha, ya ta 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 uh, we speak blessing on everyone on the platform today. In the name of Jesus, you will have testimony. Okahanja Namibia, be blessed and highly favored. St. Paul's Bristol, be blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Brosha. 
Somebody say, please pray for me. My name is Olo Light. We speak blessings on you today. Jesus' name, favor, certainly and sorry, blessings on you today. Hamel Hempstead, be blessed, be favored, be lifted, be victorious. In Jesus' name, Clapton in East London, Drogada in Ireland, uh, Hewitson Garden, Smedic, God bless you today. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, God bless you richly, richly, richly in the name of Jesus. Gulu in Uganda, God bless you in Gulu, Uganda. Uh, Victoria Gastez in Spain, God bless you richly today. Cape Town, South Africa. Blessings, blessings, Bradford South, Bradford in England, the Lord bless you today. May you be highly favored in the name of Jesus. Stanwell in Staines, God bless you richly. Uh, Bush Hill Park in Enfield, God bless you richly today in Jesus' name. Please get on the phone, challenge somebody to be with us, to join us for Morning Glow. Uh, okay, sometimes I mention this place, or so I hear this name when I was a student 50 years ago in the seminary, Oka Etiti in Nigeria. One student, I think, came from somewhere like this from there. God bless you richly for joining us this morning, Oka Etiti. God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. You bring back memories of my dormitory and the student. <laughs> Even though we're seminarians, we made so much noise. God bless you richly. <laughs> Ilford in, in Essex, blessings. Islington, blessings. May you be highly favored today. May you be victorious in the name of Jesus. May the Lord lift you up. May you be above only. Middleton Quirk in uh, Ireland. God bless you. Bermondsey, blessings. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, blessings. Luxembourg, hey, the Lord bless you in Luxembourg. Praise the Lord. Queenstown, South Africa, Saobona Kunjani. God bless you this morning. Uh, Portsmouth, blessings. Stanwell, Staines, blessings. Uh, West Legon, Ghana, blessings. Abidjan, uh, in, in, in Ivory Coast, God bless you richly. Slough in Berkshire, the Lord bless you richly this morning. Chadidi, Chadidi, Didi, Houston, Texas, be blessed, be highly favored. Be victorious. Mapa Toshoya, San Ramon, California, the Lord bless you richly, Jesus' name. Uh, praise the Lord. Queens in New York. The Lord bless you today. The Lord favor you. The Lord give you grace upon grace, blessing upon blessing. Yano teka pe koso no shayadi ka barano zabiyadi. We declare and decree favor on everyone this morning. Stratford Olympic Village be blessed and highly favored. Ino shine yadi kibi toruna matali da buzi yandalisha. Oh, Baradidoka, Kei Janalidosi, Kei Zaradorosha, Eh, Derby, God bless you this morning. May you be highly favored. Rich, um, Ridge in Accra, I think that's, is it Roman Ridge? Ridge in Accra, God bless you richly. May you be blessed. Jabi Abuja, God bless, God bless, God bless. Uh, Magoro. And laying in that, God bless you. Praise the Lord this morning. May everyone on the platform be truly highly favored, victorious, above only, never under. A Victoria, BC, Canada. Hey, I can see the town. I've been there before in British Columbia. Been to Victoria, Port Coquitlam, Coquit be Vancouver, man, man, been around, man, been around. God bless you richly, Victoria is beautiful. It's like the garden of the world. The Lord bless you this one. I can see some of the totems, Native American totems that were around the town and I went there. I think it's the capital 
of British Columbia. God bless you this morning, richly, richly, richly. Man, you never know you've traveled a lot until you begin to see these names pop up. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, a miracle happened. The guy who took me to Victoria were ministering in their church in Vancouver. Missions with me from London, singers, uh, those were with me who went with me to Canada to minister. I think one power of God here the service, the pastor's son, I think his name is Adener. Power of God came upon him. He had never played the piano before. This guy was playing beautiful music. Somebody tell me there's no miraculous uh, grace. <laughs> This morning, we celebrate the grace of God in your life. We believe God for something to happen in your life, for healings, miracles, testimonies. As we decree a thing today, it shall come to pass. I felt like saying thank you to all the technicals. We get to say thank you all the time. I'm morning glow to them. Did you know I just get up, wake up, and lead, and then I shut up. Some people manage all the various platforms they have to be on. Before I come on, they have to remind me, put the light on, sir. Put the microphone, sir. Put this one, sir. Put that one. Blessings, blessings, blessings. And they're all married. Their husbands also understand. Their wives understand. They bless you all the time. So it's not just Pastor Matthew that is sacrificing. These people, yeah, they are both a combined of volunteer staff staff we don't pay them for waking by 4 a.m to make this happen may you prosper beyond your own dream may you prosper beyond your own imagination in the name of jesus if i remember one of them her husband even then followed us to the hikurudu igbogbo crusade <laughs> was carrying loads like he's a load carrier while he's i think he's a chartered accountant god bless you richly i just felt to say a big thank you to the people who make all this happen Praise the Lord. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. The Bible teaches, you see, Christianity is not a religion. In a religion, you are a mendicant, a beggar. You wait for the God you serve to throw some pieces of bread to you. In Christianity, we are family. God is our father. Jesus is our brother. The Holy Ghost is our friend. Of course, Jesus has various angles by which he shows himself to us. One time we are his disciples, another time he's our, our father, another time he's our savior. It's the mystery of salvation is huge, man. Praise the Lord. It is within the context of family and him being the king of kings, then we are kings under him. He gives us the power to, to be able to to be able to worship him. Praise God. He gives us the reason, the right to say, to decree a thing. Thou also shalt decree a thing. It shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job 22, verse 28. This verse makes very clear that when we decree, then light shines. When we decree, there is an establishment of what is decreed. What is a decree? A decree is a powerful thing a king can enact. Or a government where there is no <laughs> legislature around the government and power is given to the maybe the head, the leader in the military government, for example, the president, military president can decree. In my country, we have one of those, we have so many decrees. We had so many decrees uh, under the military, the most popular was known as Decree 419, which dealt with people who were fraudulent. It didn't stop it because uh, the nature of man is the nature of greed. Only the power of God can change him. Even if you showed him that you shoot him for fraud, he may still do it. A decree is an authoritative order or decision to which people have to comply. A decree is the determination of someone who has power. It, that's why you hear Nebuchadnezzar say, I decree that in all nations where 
<laughs> and these these happened the sunshine every man was worshiped the god of shadrach meshach abednego for no god answers like this and when he made that decree everybody had to bow in those days salvation was not just individual it was a village salvation city salvation national salvation when emperor constantine became a christian quote unquote by seeing the sign of the cross in the sky he decreed that everybody in the roman empire must be a christian that's caused its own problem because they brought all their idols into church and changed the litany and the liturgy and the story in the church that's why some people bowed to an idol in the church which was brought in because before Christianity came, Roman Empire worshipped the Queen of Heaven. You can Google that in your own time. And she's mentioned in the book of Jeremiah. So, a decree is an ordained thing. It is to decide what is to be done and what has to take place. The Bible says, Ecclesiastes 8, 7, where the word of the king is, there is power. And who can say to him, hey, what are you doing? The king can just say, I want this. Praise the Lord. This morning, therefore, as kings under the king of kings, we have been power, given power to enact, to establish, to confirm, to decree, to say, to happen. And we need to use this decree in several remits. We need to use the decree to come against the things that want to come against us. There are all manners of spirit. This morning, get on the phone, invite your friends, tell them we shall be decreeing a decree. And some battles they've been fighting today is the end of it. Testimony is breaking out from this morning. Testimony is breaking out from this morning. Somebody's testimony is breaking out from this morning. Wherever you are joining from, the testimony is breaking out from this morning. So you got to understand that on some things don't go by prayer and fasting. Some also don't go unless by decree. By decree, some stubborn spirit. The other day I watched something on, I think it was on TikTok. Some of these people who go to safari, they sit inside a Land Rover to watch the animals. So there was this huge mammoth elephant that wouldn't move. They did everything. They knocked the, the Land Rover. They, they didn't want to shoot it. They did everything. The elephant wouldn't move. It moved a bit a little, then it now came back. And with its, uh, what does it have, a tusk? I think it has a tusk. And with its tusk, it lifted the arm, the, arm, the uh, <laughs> Land Rover with all the passengers in it. They were now hiding inside in the corner. And I had some of them praying in the name of Jesus and praying in tongues. That's the devil when he is, when he is a ferocious spirit. But you understand the decree. You shall decree a thing, it shall be established unto you. And this morning we are decreeing a thing against certain spirits that have come against you, against your family. They shall take their hand off your life. I declare and decree that somebody will testify for the hand of the Lord will show in your life. This morning, wherever you are, call on some people. Tell them we're about to decree a thing. We're about to, with a decree, come against some spirits. Want to come against some spirits who want to pull down their power, their work in the name of Jesus. Each one of them, one minute comment, prayer. One minute comment, prayer. First one, spirit of Cain. Cain envied his brother so much that he killed his own brother. This is the first exam example of household wickedness. Wickedness that comes from your house. Uncles taking over, P ah, brothers tearing down their own brother's business. I've seen it. It happens every day. Older brother wanting to inherit things belonging to younger brother, chasing wife and children out, taking them to court. 
It's a household wicked spirit. It shall not happen among your, your children. It shall not happen among your siblings. So this morning we are taking authority. We are powerfully taking authority. First of all, woke up this morning, the Lord impressed upon me. We must be grateful. Father, for January, we are grateful. For the victory of January, we are very grateful. For the blessing of January, we are grateful. For the things you did in January, we are grateful. For the outstretching of your hand in January, we are grateful. For the healing of our body in January, we are grateful. For the supply all our, of our, all our need, ah, we are grateful. <laughs> We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We celebrate your goodness, your grace. Thank you. Thank you for all that you did in January. To you be glory. Father, for February, the double month, the month of two, ah, we celebrate your faithfulness. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate your provision. We thank you. We celebrate. We thank you. We celebrate. We bless you. Makayadada. Hikobo shata. Tatuski tila ribarira dozia. Thank you for February. Thank you for doors you open, for silencing the voice of darkness, shutting the mouth of devils. March. We bless your name. We bless your name. We celebrate. It ended with testimony. It ended with healing. It ended with breakthrough. Every battle turned to a blessing. Every challenge turned to a conquest. Every mess turned to a message. Every place the enemy wanted to make us victims, we became victors. Take the glory, take the honor, take the praise, take the adoration. We return it to you. We magnify your name. Haya yibo kozibari, nari naru janikaba, ma etus kapre koskotai. We bless you this morning. We celebrate your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. O baloshkaya, mam beruziri. In Jesus' name. And so this morning we come against these various spirits by the decree of heaven. We come against the household wickedness. We take authority. We say anything that wants to choke your family, choke your blessing, and spirit from your father's house, your mother's house, spirit of Cain, not interested in your blessing, we come against it. We come against it. We come against it. We come against it. By the fire of God, Malerosha, a Kosopaya, you gain victory over the spirit of Cain. You gain mastery, you gain victory, you gain mastery, you gain victory over the spirit of Cain. The Cain, the spirit that says, My brother cannot be higher than me, my cousin that cannot be higher than me, my sister cannot be higher than me. The spirit of Cain makes people not to be able to rejoice. For what God have done for you this morning, we take authority. 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 Makai hariba torona maradi tararo barari kashka hebro hishka hebra hishka havro. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Every cane in your household, in your life, they lose their power. They lose their power. By the decrees of God, we break their grip. Despite anybody's wickedness or, or hatred, you are moving forward. You are going forward. Your children will excel. Your household will excel. Household wickedness. Ah! Anyone, anywhere. Hababa, <laughs> Toraba. Oh, all truths are parallel. What well, you see in the natural has a spiritual dimension. Just as the, the you know, my phone, something I like us do, whatever we call it. When I bring them together, I just go, oh, this one moves things to the other, moves things to the other one. There are people who use all kinds of esoteric means to want to transfer a blessing of your son, your daughter to their own. Or to, ah, today we cancel that by the blood, cancel that by the blood, cancel that by the blood. Every household wickedness. Anyone who will come into your house, any husband, daughter, in-law, whoever, that will cause household wickedness, sibling rivalry, we cancel with the blood in the name of Jesus. 
In the Bible also we see the spirit of Ishmael. Who was Ishmael? Ishmael was a natural born child of Abraham through Hagar, but he's not a child of promise. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Genesis 16, 11, 12, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, and he'll be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. The spirit of Ishmael is that which makes all kinds of trouble to break out on people, all manners of spirit. In fact, sometimes when it breaks out in a nation, you just you are wondering how come uh, one governor in my country was a constituted authority. How come constituted authority cannot control the nation? Haiti is taken over by 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 hooligans. The country of Nigeria has the most sophisticated army, but cannot control bandits here, terrorists there, uh, agitators here. It's the spirit of Ishmael, wild spirit. That's, that, that, that wants to destroy great men and women in the place. I speak this day, I declare this day, every spirit of Ishmael, every spirit of Ishmael that come against your, your daughters, against you, we cancel his power. Ah, your star will rise, your star will rise, your star will rise, your star will rise. Every spirit of Ishmael that wants to mock the destiny you carry, Ishmael to mock Isaac. He didn't know he was being tolerated in the house. Abara, Hereba, every stubborn spirit that wants to make you the star to carry scars, we come against it. We by the decree of God this morning. Paolo Shkate Kabombre, he Torabaka, he Rabababa, he Koshotayaya, he Kata Teliriba. Every spirit coming against your shining, coming against your destiny, wanting to pull you down, wanting to destroy you, we cancel by the blood. Only, I mean, it's the spirit of Ishmael, wild. Only the spirit of Ishmael will go to a, an area of a nation, carry girls, girls, and rape, make them have children in the nation that has rape law. And then the government again will, will Home days, it has forgiven. The people who killed, maimed, raped is the spirit of Ishmael. Ah, today in your household, attempt by the spirit to press down your family, press down your children. We come against it. We bring the fire of God. It is, we decree the decree of God. Every spirit of Ishmael that is against your progress. We, by the power of God, stop its work in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of Ishmael that, that pulls down stars, that pulls down gifted people, that pulls down great men, so nobody hears of them and, and VIPs, vagabonds in power, that exalts vagabonds in power, is the spirit of hell. Then you look around, everybody you see, because it's wild spirit that I witness, not your paradise here. I have victory in the name of Jesus. Next spirit we want to deal against the spirit of fear. Uh, which says sweet hour of prayer, sweet area. Uh, one of the stanza says, I'll reach Mount Pisgah and see my house from afar. God forbid. God forbid. I don't want to see my blessing from afar. I don't want to see my glory from afar. I don't want to see my testimony from afar. I don't want to see heavenly Jerusalem from afar. Spirit of Pisgah, stop this. A man who suffered like that, whom the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 11, he left his glory as a prince. He left his glory as an architect. He left his glory as a builder. He left his, he left his glory as a wealthy man. The Bible says he esteemed. He esteemed the glory of God as to, so much that he suffered with the people of God in the wilderness. 
And at the end of it, he only saw it a part of, ah, wake up wherever you are, wash your face. If you are, <laughs> some of you, I know some of you, <laughs> sometimes you are, you are dozing. Uh, <laughs> this morning is not a dozing morning. It's not a dozing morning, man. We are decreeing against the spirit of peace, God. That makes you see a blessing, but you don't get there. The spirit of peace, God, that makes you close. left back to Jerusalem. We got to the place of Mount Pisgah. And the uh, and, uh, and guide who was driving, fantastic man, he pointed at Mount Pisgah. He said that was where Moses reached. And from there, God told him to climb, and he will see. Ah, no, 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 no. You will not just see. You will enter your blessing. You will enter your favor by the decrees of God. Every serpent, every scorpion, every attack at the edge of success that makes you a failure. We cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel. Every trap of the enemy to make you fail, to make you make a mistake, to make you carry the spirit of error. Ah! People who they they try, they started well. Then the spirit of error comes, and they branch away. I was told during the week of a, a pastor who chased out his wife as she came back from the U.S. He has locked the door. His his like he knows oh, just changing his faith. He's now going after men whom we know. Are you your mystics who are not men of God? Are they are in the medium mystic spirits when people are selling keys and saying it drop from heaven? Those are mediums. Those are witches. They are, uh, they are rather they are warlocks. Warlocks. This morning, Kayadisha, Ibrodosa, Ikaba, Rinotoka. You will not reach the edge of success and fail. You will enter your success. You will enter your success. Every power militating against your life. Ah, we destroy them. We destroy them. We cancel them. We stop them. Every witchcraft power that wants to hold you in the wrong place. You will not worship money. Money will bow to you. You will not worship things. Things will come to you and you will serve the Lord in holiness. Serve the Lord in purity. Serve the Lord with all of your heart. Success will be your portion. Ah, failure at the edge of success. Mount Pisgah. Reaching there and not getting home. You will get home. You will get home. You will get into your blessing. You will get into your favor. You will get into your breakthrough. You will get into your testimony. Whose rod? So the rod of the Egyptians. Ah, the same Moses who stretched his rod upon the river Nile and it became a river of, of blood. The same Moses who stretched his rod to the dust of the earth and it became lies and laos in the body of the people, frogs everywhere. The same Moses who stretched his rod and it became a point of contact for the Red Sea to open. Ah! Made mistake. So the promised land couldn't enter. Today I prophesy by the decree of heaven. Wherever you are, let your amen be powerful. Every blessing that have eluded you, enter in the name of Jesus. Every favor that have eluded you, enter in the name of Jesus. Every breakthrough that have eluded you, Enter every testimony that have eluded you. Enter anything, any hindrance. If it's your sin, if it's unrighteousness, if it is something you've done, we bring it under the blood of Jesus. We bring it under the blood of Jesus. The God who exalts mercy above judgment. Natika, Tika, Zante, Broto, 
Abizo. We call upon you, the God who exalts mercy and judgment. James chapter 2, verse 13. Ha, 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 ha. Deboro, Tabari, Keboro, Hirai, Hiraba, Hirabo, Cambro, Hikai, Hibrodo, Hibrada. We release <laughs> your mercy above the judgment. Your mercy above the judgment. Your mercy above judgment. Your mercy above the judgment. There will be no mercy for those who have not shown mercy to you. Have been merciful. God will be merciful when He judges you. Ah, uh, uh, ah. <laughs> judgment into your life this day alebo habari hirika hirida hirida hiridi hirebo tolora teleba kabaro tambre tusha hiriba hey may god raise mercy above judgment for you from this morning in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus he raises mercy above judgment for you in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus Thank you, Jesus. You will enter and you possess your possession. Anything that wants to hold you, you scale over it from this morning. Every spirit of peace, God, you break through. You break through. You break through. You break through. Beyond peace, God, Pata, Toka, Hitala. Some of you, you have cried, you fasted over the same matter and job before they gave you there was a testimony there was a story ah today the story changes today the story changes today the story changes every witchcraft power at the edge of breakthrough will die for your sake victory will be your testimony will be your testimony will be your testimony Tazino unique about Jile da ba da ba ba kusheta, ira bo sheta yika barotola, ira bo ta da 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 da, rukaba kaza yaribo. I declare and decree today, anyone on this platform whom the spirit of Pisgah is fighting, seeing the blessing, not touching it, window shopping in life. Ah, no, not you. Window shopping in life. Not your portion. Rababa, Hilereba, Hirokosha, Daribaro, Alikere, Paraketi do. In the name of Jesus. Many years ago, I found I was really, really struggling in ministry. Blessing people, ministering with all my heart. Then I'll go places. People who didn't have your prayer life, who didn't have your commitment, didn't have your consecration. They were walking in abundance. I had to begin to cry to God. Then he began to open my eyes to all these things. Spirit of peace, God, that brings last minute hindrance. Today, we come against it. Somebody is hearing me by the decree of heaven. We push you into your blessing. There shall be manifestation from this morning. Ah, tonsusu compiente tolumbra nikisa. Yeno tabo shadi kaba pranoso do bari. Ah, from today, I believe today is the fourth. From today to the end of this month, manifestation of blessing, entering and possessing, entering and possessing, entering and possessing. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Now I see why I saw something in the night nice season. Uh, I was going to move away from spirit of peace, God, but we need to pray about it. I saw somebody I know. They had gone and bought things from, it looked like Harold's. And they were given receipts with it to come and collect what they had bought precious cutleries chinas and then i think they came out they are now about to go a couple tricksters so that ah they have that receipt we don't have it we're not the ones who buy it but the people inside don't have the picture of who bought it let's go and trick her and collect the receipt and pretend as if he had to collect the receipt from her that and then we'll go and collect the things just then i came and said hey don't give her don't give them that receipt i saw their intention because the spirit of the lord made me see their heart and their intention by wanting to collect the receipt they're not helping you to go collect they want to collect it on your behalf. before i knew they the person grabbed it from their hand it's just a strange revelation strange ran into the place to go and collect and by the time our sister went in they only have two spoons, two silver wares for her. We had to call in some people to try. These guys are thieves. 
they must return what they want to collect. It is not theirs. It's the spirit of peace, God. This morning, anyone on this altar, let your amen be like fire. Properties belonging to you. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. Houses belonging to you. We take it back. We take it back. Hayanosha! Karamonda. Land belonging to you. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. Joy belonging to you. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. We take it back. I can't 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 Olabra, Hebra, Yurukumbra, Hebra no, in Teleriva, Hebroska, Hebra, Hikoska, Hebra, Hiskava, Hebro, Hiskada. Anyone who tried to steal what belongs to you, either by crookedness, by lies, by cunningness, we send the Holy Ghost after them. We take what belongs to you. We possess your possession. We take what belongs to you. We possess your possession. We take what belongs to you. We possess your possession. We take what belongs to you we possess your possession we take what belongs to you we possess your possession by the decrees of heaven in Jesus name somebody shout amen wherever you are wherever you are he kabakosha zikororia mabaroso kayeba he kabababa Rodi Bruno Zai Talere, Iku Talima Kaida, Nido Shundozi Likebia. Second Corinthians, I mean, Second Samuel chapter 16, verse 23, reveals to us another one the spirit of Ahitophel. They will give you convincing counsel, and yet they counsel you out of your marriage, counsel you out of your blessing, counsel you out of where God planted you. You know, being a pastor, sometimes you see a person, you know they are making a mistake. Maybe it's the wife who have an ulterior reason why, well, let's leave this church. Let's go to so-and-so place. And you know, she wants to take him to the place of destruction. The place where she cannot be rebuked or they would not know her true spirit. Spirit of Ahitophel. Or a friend who drags you away from where genuine counseling can be given to you. Spirit of a heap to fell, or a person who will say they are interested in you and and they conspire with absaloms of life to take away your property, your authority, your blessing. Spirit of a heap to a wrong counselors, wrong specialists, thieving lawyers, thieving accountants who come with things to scare you. Ah! By the decree of heaven this morning. 2 Samuel 16, 13, and the counsel of Ahithophel, which he counseled in those days, was as if a man had inquired of the oracle of God. So was all the counsel of Ahithophel, both with David and with Absalom. But God frustrated his counsel, because if Absalom had followed his counsel, he would have killed David. <laughs> this place reminds me of my father-in-law. Every time he prays, he must always pray that the God who frustrated the counsel of Ahithophel shall frustrate the counsel of the enemy against you. It's one of his favorite prayers. This makes me remember him this morning. Today, every evil counselor, everyone who counsels you out of the blessing of God, we shut their mouth. Everyone who liaises with Absalom, to come against your destiny, we silence them, 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 we silence them by the decree of heaven. Aya, Kabarosha, Pato, Ika, any evil counsel, somebody giving your superiors counsel against you, counsel against your promotion, counsel against blessing you, heaven will silence them. Somebody's meaning, somebody's meaning to bless you with a car. Somebody goes and counts and they don't give him. He'll become arrogant. God will silence them. Somebody is meaning to give you a contract. And a negative voice came and said, don't give her. She'll become something else. Silence in the spirit realm. Every Absalom and Ahitophel that gang up against you. Isababa, Ishodaba, Hiraba, Hiraba, Hirabo, Tedaba, Kayara, Hirabo, Parido, Taraba, Kerosha. Every voice that speaks against your destiny. We silence them. Even David, when he had that, Ahitophel is with Absalom. With Absalom. 
He got scared. Second Samuel 15, 31. And one told David, saying, Ahitophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, Oh Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahitophel into foolishness. Ah, every evil counsel against you. Every evil counsel against you. Every evil counsel against your destiny. Every evil counsel against your progress. Anyone, anywhere speaking against your destiny. We silence them in the spirit realm. In the name of Jesus. The next spirit we want to deal with in the decree of the morning today is the spirit of Herod. Now there are six Herods. But we're talking of the Herod that killed the infants. There's Herod and Antipas, Herod Agrippa, Herod the Tetrarch, Herod the Great, Herod Philippi. I always forget the sixth. And whenever I get to see him in scripture, then I forget him where they deserve to be forgotten. But this one, the Herod that killed babies, is a spirit that killed things in its infancy. You have a dream, they come and kill it. You have a business, they come and kill it. You have a vision, they come and kill it. You start a church. And people with the spirit of Herod come to that church. Bye-bye. Destroys callings. Destroys potentials. Amputates. There are some smart boys on the street selling drugs. That could have been <laughs> mixers of drugs in pharmacology. Not just pharmacy, but pharmacology, pharmaceutics. The ones producing the latest drugs, but the spirit of Herod, the spirit of Herod, it kills babies in order to get, it was trying to get to Jesus, the spirit of Herod. Ah, this morning. Everything that wants to kill your dream, that wants to kill your vision in its infancy, we come against it. 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 Everything that wants to kill your vision, we come against it. That wants to stop you before you even started. Fire, 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 Every spirit of Herod, I come against them today. Every spirit of Herod, I come against them today. Every spirit of Herod, I come against them today. Nabato tatata hekeke papa robaso penati katosu ati kopati ka ah killed babies because he was looking for one baby. These are people who will stop destinies because it makes them feel good. And after he had done all this, I don't know if it was him or his back. After he had done all this, maybe his brother, they say, ah, ah, the God speaking. And the Bible says, worms ate him. Ah, today, Kababa, Hushkaya, Hiraba, Hotala, anything that wants to kill your dream. Ah, prematurely, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel. Every hand that rises against your de destiny, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, let's deal with one more spirit. One more spirit. Before we deal with the other general needs this morning, in the brevity of time. Ah, there was another man. Esther chapter 3 from verse 9 to 13. It is the spirit of untimely death. Haman was prime minister of an empire, but he's not satisfied. Because he, a gatekeeper did not bow to him. Just a man who is at the gate. Ah. He makes the enemy plot against you, prepare instruments of death for you. Haman prepared a place to hang. <laughs> he plotted everything turned against him. 
Okay, this morning, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. And it's wonderful, wonderful. I plead the blood of Jesus. And it's wonderful, wonderful it is to me. I plead the blood of Jesus. And it's wonderful, wonderful. I plead the blood of Jesus. And it's wonderful, wonderful it is to me. We plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of Haman. We plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of Haman. People who want to hang you. <laughs> like the title of that cowboy film, Hang Them High. They want to hang you high. Ah! We plead the blood of Jesus against their plan. Enemies that they want you to die. They shall die in your place. Right? To pick your nose here. Redushka, Hitika, anyone who thinks they are setting you up for destruction, they will set you up for exaltation. They think they are setting you up for a setting down, they will set you up for exaltation. Ah, yeah, yeah, for the very place where Haman had planned to kill Mordecai, there he was. Hanged. The enemy will hang himself. The enemy will hang himself. The enemy will hang himself. Ah, those who do not turn back from fighting you, they will hang themselves. They will hang themselves. Are you king to Suman? They will hang themselves. They will hang themselves. They will tell. They will hang themselves. They will hang themselves. They will hang themselves in the name of Jesus. Aborosha, Yenidika, Paronozi, Kaina B, Torona Mis, Ikiata, Pronoska, Ikito, Harabo, Toria, Proshka, Hishka, Tishka, Hidabo, Hishka, Hirimo, Tarabo, Hishka Yada, Hiraba, their own plot will catch them. <laughs> he planned the man's destruction, he pushed the man to exaltation. Mordecai inherited all Haman's things, Mordecai became the one they carried on the horse to ride the whole nations. Mordecai became the one whose voice was the voice of life or death. I speak into your life today. Every Haman that have come against you will push you into your testimony. 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 Will push you into your... I decree this day. Every Haman that is plotting your destruction will destroy themselves. And the gallows they prepared for you will hang them. Testimonies will follow you. Ah, glory will follow you. Favor will follow you in the name of Jesus. The last spirit we deal with today is the spirit of Balaam, who was Balaam. You know him very well. Numbers 22, verse 5 to 6. He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam, the son of Beor or Petor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me, these people, for they are too mighty for me. Peradventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I wot that he whom, whom thou blessed is blessed, and he whom thou cursed is cursed. Balaam. The chief habalist, the warlock, the, the Sangoma, like they'll call them in southern Africa, rolls out, the Marabu, like they'll call them in West Africa, rolls out to come and curse the people of God. All of them deceiving each other. Balak, who sent for him, is, 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 I think he's a Moabite. He knows the people that they are his cousin. And Balaam, whom they sent for, <laughs> he's priding himself that whom he blesses is blessed. As he opens his mouth, he couldn't curse the people of God. This morning upon this altar by the decree of heaven. Everyone who has been hired to curse you, herbalists, diviners, witches, witchcraft, whatever it is, their words will go back on their head in the name of Jesus. Their words will go back on their head in the name of Jesus. It shall have no effect on you. Victory follows you. Testimonies follow you. Victory follows you. Spirit of Balaam, frustrated by the counsel of God. 
We decree by the hand of God this morning, you have victory over Balaam. 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 Arosha, who owns the, the things they will use in their concoctions? The leaves of the bush and the tree they will cut. Whatever they mix, the blood of animals, bulls, and birds, which they will mix whatever they take, whether from the marine world or from the earth world, wherever they take it, who made it? Your dad. It can't work against you. So it shall work for your promotion. It shall work for your blessing. It shall work for your promotion. It shall work for your blessing. The snake, the people of the land of Malta waited for Paul to fall and die after the snake had bitten him. They didn't know that this man is an epitome of power. Zero no taba. Every hand that have risen against you, against your family, against your children, shall fail right before their eyes. You will excel right before their eyes. Your sons and daughters will excel right before their eyes. Your business will excel right before their eyes. This quarter we entered, you will excel. 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 You will do more than well. You will bless your generation. You will touch life. You will be a blessing. You will carry grace. Ababa tosia hinevarota bangizia hebra hijo tabari kabra zola. Everywhere you go, you will be the epitome of blessing, the epitome of favor, the epitome of grace, the epitome of glory, the epitome of power, the epitome of blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, this morning I declare into your life. I say bye the decrees of heaven spiritual robbers will not visit your family say amen where you are by the decrees of heaven empty us will not visit and empty your family empty your business empty your life in the name of jesus by the decree of heaven merciless dark agents will not visit your family and create havoc if they come they will carry it with their head by the decrees of heaven ah Men of blood will not visit your family, visit your house in the name of Jesus. By the decree of heaven, I speak every crisis and battle planned by the enemy in this season. Ah, it goes back to the sender. I declare and decree that by the decree of heaven, strange wind that visits people, the wind blows, things change, everything crashes shall not see you in the name of Jesus. Any attempt of hell to mess with what God has blessed, today we stand in the gap and stop it. By the decree of heaven, I speak into your life today, joy spoilers, happiness destroyers, shall not see you in the name of Jesus. By the decrees of heaven, Wasters will not visit your family. By the decree of heaven. No loss in Jesus name. By the decree of heaven. No paralysis to your dream, your vision, your life, your destiny, your calling in the name of Jesus. By the decree of heaven. It's not your, you saw your blessing, you will enter your blessing. By the decree of heaven. The spirit of Ishmael is not your portion. Your children will not go into wildness. You will not go into wildness. The spirit that destroys and cancels and, and becomes a killing spirit shall not visit you. It shall not touch even your neighborhood for your sake. By the spirit of God, by the decrees of heaven, no mourning in your house. By the decrees of heaven, favor follows you. Blessing follows you. Mercy follows you. Victory follows you. Help follows you. Kindness follows you. Security is your portion. Grace of God surrounds you. 
power of God surrounds you. Majesty of God surrounds you. The strength of God surrounds you. The beauty of God surrounds you. The holiness of God surrounds you. The love of God surrounds you. The wonders of God surrounds you. The loving kindness of God surrounds you. By the decree of heaven, the supremacy of your father over circumstances, over situations, they surround you in the name of Jesus. By the decree of heaven, we say today the beauty of God will be upon you. Anywhere you enter, you'll see the beauty of God and the glory of God by the decree of heaven, the compassion of heaven will rise for you by the decree of heaven. You will testify in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord this morning. I'm sure you were blessed. Glory to God. Stay with us. Don't leave yet one more prophetic word before we close this morning. A couple of announcements. We've never taught this before in the Wealth Master class. Many people are not into business. A greater number of people in society have their own career or they are employed. But then you want to prosper. You see, if you don't have the information, you will not be able by just thinking it. Join me on Saturday evening. I have 60 powerful points for helping people to create wealth. Nine to five careers, people, employed people. It's important to change your narrative and create new paradigms. There are people who are in employment who are creating wealth. Some people are not just called to do entrepreneurship, but there is a way you can recalibrate your life. So join me. Go to matthewashimlow.com. You will have to spend to transform your mind. Even God does not bless everybody to the level of their lack of preparation. For the men who were given talents, Jesus said it was according to their ability. There are those who delight, who want five talents, but they have a half talent behavior or one talent behavior. So you need to change. You need to up your game. You need to up your game from one talent person to a five talent person. The wealth masterclass will help you. You will need to spend on your mind. You will need to spend on your mind. You will need to spend wealth creation for the nine to five career person. This Saturday, 7 p.m. Remember time has changed in case you kept catching us, catching up with us late. Time has changed, please adjust your time. Uh, uh, and uh, join us appropriately. Also, let me encourage you, please go out of your way. Today was the 100 days we said you should bring souls. We're going to set another 100 days from tomorrow. Bring 10 souls every time, 10 souls every time. Oh, we've already set it. Thank you very much, these technical guys. They were on time to capture it. So from now to 13th of July, there's 100 days. Reach out. Win your friends. Reach out. Win souls. Invite them to morning glow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This weekend is going to be powerful. I'm going to be live and on ground in Prayer City. We're going to have a great live class. I'm going to have uh, 11 a.m. service. We were blessed Easter Sunday. Oh, my God. Tetel es die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you finish preaching, then the Lord begins to show you more revelation, or you come into some more truth. Tetel Esther was like a stamp. They stamped on three things in Bible times, on receipts after you paid for a big bill. Pow! Tetel Esther paid for. Tetel Esther is what they stamp when you win a battle. Boom! It means you have won the victory. Tetel style was also used uh, to make a legal announcement. So when Jesus said, Tetel is time, the people in this time understood. The battles won, the victory is won. The Savior uh, has won the victory. Oh, glory to God, glory to God Almighty. 
sure you were blessed this morning. I was blessed myself leading. I was blessed really. I felt the power of God. Sometimes I want to move away from one area to the other. But God keeps us. That revelation I saw overnight really rattled me a little bit. It was so clear that people who did not own the property seized the receipt to go and take what is not theirs. So I speak into your life. No man will take your blessing. No man will take your favor. No man will take your grace. No man will be able to take the blessing that belongs to you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life. You are too connected to be eliminated. And in this 2024, God will give you net breaking ship sinking miracle. You will get a last minute miracle in this season. Every situation in your life that the devil told you is not a changeable situation. I prophesy, I announce there will be a change. There will be a change. It shall be reversed. It shall be canceled. Miracle that looks too good to be true will come to pass in your life. God shall do it for you in a season. I in Ecopian Doro. Before the end of today, there will be milestone miracles, milestone miracles, milestone miracles, milestone miracles, milestone miracles. Prophetic word was given to Timothy. Paul reminded him. He said, that prophetic word that was given, don't keep it in your diary and be looking at it. He said, bring it out and use it to do more fair. We bring out every prophetic word spoken into our life. We use it to possess our possession. We take our territory to enter our blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us this morning on today's morning glow. The Lord richly bless you. Kedubu Benis. Yosteven Diga. Yosteven Soy. Ah, Buana Akubariki. O Nyamishra. Nyamishra wa Yebariki Shivarike Mwariba Kukumbrere. Uh, uwa muzika la yesu nkulunkulu agobo says thank you very much mucho gracias nyabonga kakulu thank you very much we'll see you tomorrow arrivederci good night god bless bye bye